Hey babe and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another Kundalini Explain video for you today. And if you hear hammering in the background, it is my kids in the living room and I have no control over that hammering. So I might just get a nice little backbeat in this video. But the question that I want to dive a little bit more into today is, is Kundalini Yoga dangerous. This is one that I was really concerned about before I started practicing Kundalini Yoga and something that really kept me from diving into the practice and it's one that a lot of people ask me. So many people ask me this question and so I want to really like explain it, debunk it, dive into it a little bit today. So is Kundalini dangerous, inherently dangerous? Absolutely not. There's nothing dangerous about Kundalini Yoga. But you do want to practice with somebody who is trained, who has been properly trained, who knows what they're doing, you want to find a teacher that feels really safe to you. You want to find a practitioner that follows the guidelines of Kundalini Yoga, that has been trained by a Kundalini Yoga accredited organization so that you trust them, you feel safe with them. So always make sure to check that out. There are practitioners out there who in instead of teaching Kundalini Yoga, they're teaching Kundalini Awakening. That is not the same thing as Kundalini Yoga. Kundalini Yoga and Meditation as taught by Yogi Bhajan is the traditional form and the ancient form of Kundalini Yoga. So Kundalini Yoga in and of itself is not dangerous, but you wanna make sure that you're practicing it in a very safe way. So you always want to have a teacher, especially if you're just starting out, you want to have a teacher, you want to have someone that you're practicing with that's walking you through the postures and you're not just kind of going it on your own. Once you start practicing more regularly, you can find creas and do them on your own and time yourself, but you always want to make sure you're following the time guidelines, you're following the posture guidelines, and a lot of times it's easier to do that with a teacher um, because you know that they're following those versus trying to figure it all out yourself. It's also important when you're practicing Kundalini Yoga and you're in a class setting, that you're with a teacher who gives modifications for beginners in their class, for people who are just starting out. And a lot of times at the beginning of a class, teachers will even ask you who's new to Kundalini Yoga, who hasn't practiced before. And that way they'll know to make sure that they give those modifications. The way that I teach Kundalini Yoga on this channel specifically, because I really can only speak for me, is incredibly safe it's very easy to understand and it makes it really, really accessible. So it is so, so safe to practice in the way that I teach it. I teach for minimal time periods to give you a taste of the energy and the potency of it. And then I give you the time limit. So on your own, if you wanna do it longer, if you wanna go a little deeper, you can. But the way that I teach it is really safe and also really effective and powerful at the same time. If you're ever in a class and you feel uncomfortable, all you have to do is get up and walk out. I know that can seem really scary and uncomfortable and you may get a few stares the teacher might look at you but she might actually just come out and talk to you and it's always your right to exercise what you feel is best for you and if you're in a class and you're feeling uncomfortable and you're not feeling cared for you're not feeling safe something doesn't feel right just walk out it's the same thing if you were getting a massage if you're having body work done and you were in pain or you were uncomfortable and something just fell off for you speak use your voice, get up, leave the class. That is so within your rights. You are in charge of your body and your energy. And so the biggest thing in the practice of Kundalini Yoga is, and I always say this in my classes and in my meditations, even if you feel uncomfortable, if it feels like too much, your job in this practice is to listen to your body. And so if your body, your mind, your soul is saying, this is too much for me today, back off, just sit, meditate, walk up, leave the class, pause the video, and come back to it later. Because there is a lot of energy that's being stirred up when you practice kundalini yoga, it can certainly feel intense. And sometimes that intensity for beginners, if you walk into a class and there are no modifications given, and you do the whole kriya and it's really long and it's really intense, it can really feel jarring after the class and you can feel a little off kilter while things are kind of clearing and moving and resetting and your energy field. Always back off. It is your job to listen to your body. I can't tell you what feels good for you. I can tell you my experience, what happens in my body, what's happened with some of my clients that have given me um, different feedback in my classes or in my meditations and how it feels for them. But ultimately, it's going to feel different for you because you are different. You have a different set of beliefs, a different set of limitations, a different set of rules, a different set of expectations, and just a different energy field, different thoughts, different feelings. You have to listen to what is right for me right now and then follow that. So Kundalini is incredibly safe, incredibly safe, and the way that I teach it, anybody can do it at any time. But if it doesn't feel right for you in that day and time, pause it, leave it, come back. 
Make sure that you're listening to yourself and staying true to yourself in every moment, no matter if it's inside of Kundalini Yoga or any other yoga class or any other aspect of your life. It is always your job to take care of you first. I love you. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions about it, please drop them in the comments. Have an amazing day, and I will see you back here again soon. Mwah.